In this tip, I'm going to be talking about the pitch and where your voice would res resonate from. A lot of times, people who have spasmodic dysphonia, what has happened is we've allowed our voice to drop down into our throat and we find ourselves talking more like this because we've allowed our voice to drop and we didn't notice but it was just over a period of time that we allowed it to drop and so we begin to speak from down here in our throat when in reality our voice needs to be coming from our mask it needs to be coming from this area the nose and the mouth and when you hum mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you can feel a tingling sensation around your nose your sinuses and around your lips and when we're speaking correctly, that same tingling sensation will be through the sinus and around their nose because the voice needs to be projecting from this part. You, sometimes you hear people say, you sound like you're talking through your nose. Well, what they really mean is when they say you're talking through your nose, it's as if you're not talking through your nose. You, you hold your nose and, and that's a now what I sound. And people say, you sound like you're speaking through your nose. No, that's the sound you make when air is not allowed to escape through your nose. And so if we're speaking correctly, air will be coming not only through our mouth, but we'll be expelling air also through our nose. And that allows our voice to resonate as it should. You know, you should practice just bringing the voice. Think about it. You know, if you, if you bring it on down here first and think, I need to bring it on up and I need to have it coming out of my face up here in the mask and you just bring it on up here and think about the fact that I had to bring my voice up here. See how my voice sounds stronger and clearer when I allow myself to bring it on up here and keep it in the mask? Now, I have a tendency now that I've overcome spasmodic dysphonia to go ahead and allow my voice to come on down. And I'll, a lot of times I'll speak in a lower tone, but it's because I've learned how to control it. I've learned how to breathe. I've learned how to manage it. And so I can bring my voice at whatever level I want to without worrying about going into the, strang the strangulation that sometimes we have that we suffer from with the SD. Practice bringing that tone, that pitch, through your face. Keep it out of your throat. Bring it up into your face, and you'll find that you'll have great improvement if you just practice that.